Welcome everyone! Welcome back to the Kundalini Yogini. This is Prasidda. Thank you for joining me. It's been quite a while since I have done a video on here, a few weeks, so thank you for your, your patience. I have been much more active on TikTok, Clubhouse, and Instagram lately, so if you don't follow me there, go follow me at Kundalini Yogini. Without further ado, I'm going to get into today's video, which is a frequently asked question I get. How do I feed or take care of my vegan puppy? Or what do I feed my dog if I feed it vegetarian or vegan? So I'm going to answer these questions in today's video, give you some resources that I have used and that have helped me, and hopefully give you a little insight on how to have a vegetarian dog. So me and Drita got our beautiful golden retriever puppy last year. She's almost a year old now. Her name is Kashi, for those of you guys that haven't heard about her. She is our daughter and our literally favorite being. We love her so much and we are truly obsessed with her and taking care of her. So we take it very seriously, um, that the, the health of our pets. And we are both vegan and so we definitely wanted to be able to raise our dog vegetarian or vegan because feeding it meat was not an option for us morally or ethically. That being said, of course, when it's your child, you know, you you would do anything for it to make sure it's okay. So, you know, we we still were very much aware and didn't want to make any assumptions or do anything that might hurt her, right? So um, we took her to the vet. We've gotten many consultations and many blood tests to make sure she is, you know, happy and healthy and thriving. And she is definitely all those things. So I'm going to be sharing with you what exactly we do with her. Um, first off, I just want to you know, make a note. Obviously, I'm not a vet or a pet nutritionist, so please take everything I'm sharing with a grain of salt. This is just my personal experience and research that I'm I'm sharing my story. So, uh, please do your due diligence with your pet. Every pet is different, and um, this is particularly about dogs. Cats can be much more um, challenging, sometimes close to impossible to raise vegan. So, I just want to you know, set, put that out there um, so that nobody, you know, harms any of their animals. But dogs are omnivores, so they're really easy to raise vegetarian or vegan when you do your research. And of course, just make sure you're feeding them, all, you know, a whole foods diet, getting them all the nutrition that they need. I just wanted to preface by sharing with you that the, the longest dog to ever live, which lived till 24 years old, was a Border Collie who was a vegetarian dog. She was raised on lentils and rice. Lentils and rice, guys. That's what she ate her whole life. And she lived into her 20s. So it's very possible to have a longevity and peak health raising your dog this way. And of course, if you have ever traveled to other places in the world outside of North America, you will see how common it is for dogs to be fed human food. It's no such thing that you buy separate dog food. And so in countries like India, South America, they're often just fed table scraps. And of course, in places like India, most of the time that is vegetarian. And it's just, you know, lentils, dal, rice, sambar, all of that kind of stuff, veggies. And they, they you know, they're happy and healthy and thrive. So those are just some, you know, examples to help set the stage. So when we first got Kashi, I did a lot of research. And my favorite website that helped me so much was called CompassionCircle.com. So I highly recommend anybody who is interested in learning more about raising a pup, vegetarian or vegan, to check that website out. It has amazing recipes on how you can make homemade dog food completely fresh. You know, it's all in your control. You don't even have to buy outside food. Or if you do buy food, what food you could buy, what, what ways you could supplement the food that you make your dog to make sure it's getting all the vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and protein that it needs when it's growing as a puppy and when it becomes an adult dog. Um, a lot of frequently asked questions are answered on that website. So it's a really beautiful resource, um, highly recommend. So when Kashi was a puppy, um, I mean, she still is, she's just turning a year old, but in her early childhood, we were feeding her a food called Benevo. And that was my probably my favorite food that I came across in terms of dry kibble. That one is amazing. Sadly, it's a little hard to get sometimes in the US, um, but I was able to find it on a particular website, which was really lucky. So that's one of the only, if not, I think the only pre-made vegan puppy food specifically that exists. So there are vegan adult dog foods, but puppies need a different kind of food. They need a higher protein content as they're growing. So this is the first of its kind. And I really loved this food for Kashi and she loved it growing up. And now she switched to Halo vegan dog food. So that is definitely what I recommend if you have an adult dog that you want to be vegan. Um, and that's the food we use. 
Now, of course, if you're transitioning your dog into a different diet, you, you might already know this, but you always should do it very gradually and continue to check in with the vet, make sure that there's no signs or symptoms that the puppy or dog is not doing well with that diet. So, you know, always be really vigilant and slow and gentle with the diet changes. Additionally, um, from that website that I told you guys about, Compassion Circle, I purchased Veg Pup Vegan Supplement and Nutritional Yeast. So both of those are supplements. One of them is a supplement. The Veg Pup Supplement is something that you can put on homemade dog food. So say you make homemade kibble with tofu or you make homemade kibble with chickpeas or lentils or rice um, or all of the above. You add this onto it to make sure it's the puppy is getting all the additional supplement nutrients vitamins that it needs so that's really beneficial and like a you know a safety cover for whatever that you might feed your dog at home and then the nutritional yeast that's for puppies or dogs that they have is also great because it's it's like a you know a healthy supplement they can take that you can add or sprinkle onto their food they love the taste of it and it just gives them you know extra extra vitamins and minerals the one other thing we love supplementing kashi with is turmeric so we give her turmeric made you know boiled down in coconut oil with a little bit of black pepper you can look up the recipe online and you'll find it if you look up for dogs how to take it and you can make it into this paste and basically it keeps for a few weeks in the fridge and you can supplement it into their food as well uh, i think about a teaspoon a day or something along those lines maybe a little less and it's amazing for joint and bone health of your dog and inflammation so this is great for larger breed dogs as well because they often have hip dysplasia, joint issues as they get older, and this is just a way to help your dog thrive as it grows. So we give her that also, not every day, but you know, whenever we feel inspired, we give her a little bit of that. As for treats, there are a ton of vegan treats actually available nowadays, often made with like sweet potatoes, cinnamon, things like that. Um, Kashi loves all of them. Pe peanut butter, you know, of course we give her sometimes. Um, she also loves fruits and vegetables. There are certain fruits and vegetables though. You should make a list of the ones dogs cannot have, like avocado, grapes, um, pit fruits, like peaches and nectarines, things like that. But we love she, she, to give her apples. We love to give her carrots berries um she she just loves those so um you know it's kind of fun. sometimes people are shocked that a dog would like that but when you raise them that way of course they do it's not it's food it's natural and it's delicious and you know especially if you have the control as a puppy you you know that they're gonna be raising you know raised eating the right things and, and really enjoy fruits and veggies all around we also love giving her our extra smoothies so when we make smoothies in the morning if there's a little extra it's like a fruit smoothie we give her some of that and she loves that. She gets so excited. And last thing I'll share with y'all, make sure to get your dog blood tested, you know, urine and stool test as well, you know, throughout the year to make sure that not only, you know, all the blood levels are okay, all the, you know, nutrition is happening properly in your dog and assimilation of nutrients, but also, you know, making sure they don't have parasites, parvo, different viruses. So it's always good to just be really on top of that. Make sure that your dog is, is really healthy because they are conscious beings, members of the family. And I think that they deserve that care and respect. So if you're thinking about getting a dog, make sure that you have the time and the resources and the finances to really properly take care of it. That's just one thing I would advise everybody because they are, they, they deserve it. Honestly, they're, they're beautiful, very intelligent beings that are truly much more than just a pet. So that's my two cents. I hope that this was helpful for anyone who is interested in this topic. I know it's a little out of my ne normal niche, but hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next video. Nithyanandam.